So welcome along everybody back out yet again and we're test riding this. This time we're on a grey aura. So this one's going out to the customer. You can tell it's rained earlier because all the rain came down, the dust blew around the yard and I've got little dust marks on it which means in for a clean when I get back. So we're going to take this one out, give it a run. Now the one thing I do like about this, I have the key in my pocket. Centre sand size stand, flip out rear pegs, tuck away when not in use. This has a remote seat and fuel. Seats there, fuel is down the front, E5 fuel. Nice big storage area, doubt if you're going to get a full size helmet in there. But probably get an open face in there. But loads of storage for all your gear. Drops down, and just to show you the VIN numbers at the back there. So very, very easy. If you happen to be doing MOT or checking it out or you need a VIN number, Mr. Old Bell stops you. Let me just check your VIN number. So, all you do, key in the pocket, press turn, up comes the display. Seen this before, rev counter, speedo, big mile an hour in the middle, fuel tank, battery, hit the button, off we go. 65 degrees F, which means it's still hot out. And it did rain earlier, but it's so much for these torrential downpours that we're meant to be getting, flash floods and thunderstorms, I've not seen any of it yet. Just hoping, obviously you haven't checked the audio on this drift camera, how good the audio is going to be, uh, until I wait for my new GoPro 10 to turn up. That will uh, suffice with the drift on the side of the helmet. The GoPro was going to be going on the front of the helmet on a chin mount. And, uh, thanks to Andy GSA Tractor for the advice on that. So uh, I will have a GoPro up before long. Spent a bit of money. Why not? So putting the YouTube money back into the business all goes to good use. So this one is the Lexmoto Aura Euro 5 125cc and uh, people have said yes but the Aura is a little bit of a bigger scooter yes it was or yes it is should I say and if you happen to be sort of into the Lexmoto scooter so they start off it goes Titan then into the Diablo then into obviously the Aura I'm going to stand up and put my phone in my pocket. Then into the Apollo, which is slightly bigger. And then the Pegasus, which is the 300cc version. Now the Apollo, I would say, is very similar, almost identical, to the old Lexmoto Chieftain. And I did like the Chieftain. The Chieftain was a great scooter, an absolutely fantastic piece of equipment. like them a lot now obviously when they brought out this ooh, I like this and 99.9% .9 of the people that looked at it and went ooh, don't like it it's keyless what happens if you lose the key well what happens if you lose any key on your motorcycle you've got to go and get another one that is why you have a spare one now I don't know obviously with the remote key if you can get it recoded or sure you'd be able to do that, get a new recoded key, the same as you do if uh, you lost your remote fob from like the Honda Yamaha Kawasaki. But, so much easier, because there is no, no ignition lock to fiddle with, you can't get the bike started without it, you can't even take it out of the unlock mode, so working round you've got the lock mode, then you've got the unlock, then it goes into seat and fuel, then it goes into ignition. Keep me on that lorry behind me, thank you very much. Let me know he's going left. But, great idea. I love keyless ignition on a bike and I've got that on my GTR 1400. As people say, oh yes, but it's all fads. Let's, you know, it, it'll go wrong. It's a switch at the end of the day. There's nothing fancy. It's the same as having a, a left and right indicator switch. You move to a certain point, you get a certain thing happen. And I've not known one of these to uh, pack up yet. So 
great idea on the Aura, keyless ignition, that's the way to go, put the key in your pocket. And you can also, with the, the key itself, locate your bike. It's a key on it, it's very similar to what you get on a Tesla key. Looks very similar, it looks like a little car. But uh, key is very, very good. And I think these are a wonderful little bit of kit. Really good bike. Nice and comfy, loads and loads of leg room. You can put your feet in two positions. Nice wide mirrors. Got about, I'd say, an eight for my shoulder in that mirror, but you'll get a different view off of my drift cam. But I, from my eyesight, I've got about an eight for my shoulder in that mirror. Just hoping the audio is working on this camera today. We shall find out when I edit. If not, subtitles. So three miles on the bike so far and we're doing a steady 40 45 I'm just varying the speed between 40 and 45 for the moment just so we can uh, see, change the revs on it so we're going to come off here go back down the other side up some miles on my shoulders but the actual riding position on these auras is lovely now I know a lot of people have been using these for delivery let's get that visor up for the minute itchy nose again oh the sun is out hay fever so a lot of people have been using these for delivery now, there is obviously an aftermarket rack available for these, which is great news, and fits on the back of the bike. So get big box back there, and a lot of people have been using these for deliveries because just because of the size of the bike, so you can get a load in the top box and a load of stuff under the seat. So great idea with these bikes. So if you are looking for something for delivery, just remember you won't have any warranty on it, but you won't have any warranty on any big brand bike either. And I'd rather have a two grand bike than a five grand bike with no warranty on it. Very good at low speeds. Handles exceptionally well. And if it's just coming on that combined braking and just show you. Whoa! Captain, I'll pull up quick if you bury a handful of front brake. So, can't fault the brakes on these. Some of the bikes that I've seen where the front brake is absolutely awful, you'd be better putting your feet down than skidding your feet to a stop. But great idea, these. A little bit of everything all on the display in front of you, and that is all you need. And it ticks over, lovely. Nice steady idle on these. Check the shoulder, we're going back on the A5. So what have we got planned for the rest of the day? Well, we're going to finish this Aura ride off. Have a listen to that engine. There we go wind it up to 45 mile an hour. It's got a good little sound to it. And it's got like a, as they say, a wasp in a tin. It has got quite a, a good throaty grumble to it for a 125 head. That's a job. So if you are thinking Lex Moto, there we go, the Eclipse Motorcycles.co.uk is the website. Give a team a call, 01908 822458 Or the main number in 01908 643603 Option 2, ask for Dave, sales manager Or on, just ask me on the bike team We've had two or three people come in this week It's like, oh, seen your videos online I haven't seen any other dealer do a video No, we just, it's just me being a little bit fussy, a little bit OTT this way you know if you purchase a bike 
it's being ridden at the right speed steady 40 it's not being taken out by some young technician having the absolute pants ragged off of it because all they want to do oh god come on I've got 10 minutes to tea break let me put my foot down a bit let's open the bike up I'll be uh, running these bikes in correctly make sure a bit of care and attention now obviously off the back of my videos my ZX7R has now sold and is off to Cornwall and that guy's had about three or four videos from me just to show the bike that the MOT done the service all the paperwork's gone off with it all done happy days and the VFR's also gone off the back of my video so if you are looking at a big bike, go and look at the website and there's no doubt a ride video of that bike on my Redmond page. I do like to take the bikes out and give them a run. Let's say a big hi to uh, a few friends while we're doing this. Mr. Carl Dutz from Carl Dutz Rideouts. Right on the challenge, my friend, suspension and singing. After uh, Simon GTR 1400 asked about everyone doing a karaoke challenge, I did do mine on Sunday, but unbeknown to me, halfway through it dumped the audio. So I should be doing the karaoke challenge again. Oh, as if you can't put up with it once of my singing, you've got to put up with it twice now. <laughs> All good fun. And finally, before we head back to the garage, Mr. Z Head Motor Blocks, Mr. Stuart Anderson. Happy birthday, brother. And Z Head is a very, very big bike blogger from Scotland, very, very good friend. Introduced me into ZZRs and GTRs. And uh, I've been friends with him for about a year and a half, two years now. How time flies. But, uh, it is 49th birthday today. He's clinging on to this side of 50. Oh, bless him. So, happy birthday, Stu. Have yourself a good one, buddy. But go and check out some of Zed's stuff. He hangs out with the boys up in Scotland. So, we're uh, bending gas hauling ass. Escher Vlogster, R6 Monkey, Lockwood 92. A little pack all out of Scotland. They're doing well on these older buildings massive industrial complex going down there come on people move up green lights green lights let's go we're going to head back down to the garage now because my cup of coffee that has been sat under my counter since half past ten still not drunk it so try and make myself a fresh one What a great place to stop. The experts in pest control, rodents, insects, bird control, rent kill. I wonder if they get rid of the uh, another another annoying pest that seems to inhabit the roads at this time of year. Cyclists. No. Better not that I'll have the cyclist that I'll be after me for that one. <laughs> but you get all those annoying bugs, don't you, during the summer? Wasps, bees. Bees aren't really annoying bugs. Wasps, flies. Cyclists. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to pay the price for that one, aren't I? We actually had a pack of them when we were doing the. Uh, mental health awareness ride go and watch Simon GTR 1400s I thought or is it Andy GSA tractors video one of the bikers every time we go past just before he goes past the cyclist he puts his hand out as if to uh, slap the cyclist on the ass very very funny very funny but uh, luckily the cyclist didn't spot him doing that but all good fun it's good to have a little bit of a laugh when you're out on the bike and this is the best therapy in the world getting out on one of these jumping a ride but 
Lexmoto Aura for the customer is all good. Indicator would be nice. That's why you always anticipate roundabouts. As always, if you enjoyed the Aura video and me waffling on, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Follow me on all social medias, that's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all the lot. All the social media channels. The list of all the motor vloggers is in the description down below. Go and check that out, guys. But until the next time when we are out having another ride, which is going to probably be in about the next 10 minutes with the next one, be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me. <laughs>